Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy King Killer back here today with another video. Thank you guys for dropping by. So, in today's video, we are finally at the start of NBA 2K24. And for the first video of this game, I'm gonna have to go ahead and do a rebuild of my favorite team in the NBA, the Boston Celtics. Now, the Celtics definitely had one of the craziest off seasons this se this past season. And it's because we ended up trading away Marcus Smart, the heart and soul of our team. Been with us for about 10 years. I want to say he did get drafted in 2014. So like 9 to 10 years in Boston. That was such a heartbreaking trade. I miss him so much. I'm not going to cap. I was low-key depressed for like a week because he was that important to the team. And then we also did lose some other players like Grant Williams. Blake Griffin didn't end up re-signing with us. So kind of a bad offseason to start it off but then we did end up getting Chris Tapp's Porzingis to Boston so now he is a part of the big three with the Jays so yeah Chris Tapp's Porzingis is now in Boston to form a new big three with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and then taking a look at the rest of the roster we do have Malcolm Brogdon, Derek White, Al Horford, Robert Williams, Peyton Pritchard, Sam Hauser and then a couple of other guys that probably won't really crack the rotation. But I honestly am excited to see Jordan Walsh play because he was tearing it up in the summer league. He's looking like a really good 3 and D guy. Really athletic, so I'm excited to see what he brings to this team. But I'm not going to lie, this team is looking pretty good. But I would like to low-key kind of upgrade our bench. Just because I feel like we don't really have the best outside of Malcolm Brogdon and now Horford. Peyton Pritchard, he's made it clear that he doesn't really want to be in Boston anymore, even after we traded Marcus Smart. So I would like to go ahead and trade him. Sam Hauser, I wouldn't mind keeping around unless I could get a good trade for him. Luke Cornett, I would like a better backup center. And then these guys probably, like I said, won't be playing for us. So taking a look at the rotation real quick. And actually, I did want to change this because it was kind of bugging me. So we are going to go ahead and change Malcolm Brogdon to a shooting guard. So he does actually go up. And then Derek White should also go up if we move him to a point guard. So we are going to go ahead and let's see what 2K wants. So we are not going to start Al Horford. We're going to go ahead and start Robert, uh, Chris House Porzingis with Robert Williams. And then we could go ahead, give Al Horford like 22 minutes a night. We could go to give Malcolm Brogdon like 27. Uh, we could go ahead and give Jalen Brown like 30. Uh, you know, he could say at 33. Chris House could go up to like a 30. And let's see. Okay, so these are the guys that I'm talking about. We don't really have that good of a bench outside Malcolm Brogdon and Al Horford. So before the season does start, I actually would like to go ahead and try to find some trades, maybe a better backup point guard and center. So I am going to go ahead and start looking around and see what I could get for Peyton Pritchard and maybe like Sam Hauser, Luke Cornett. So when I do have a good trade in mind or when I do find one, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys. All right, so I actually did find a good player that I would want on this team. So I am going to have to go ahead and actually release some of these players. And then I'm going to have to go ahead into free agency. And I'm going to have to sign somebody for like a couple mil just so I'm able to make this work. So we could go ahead and sign somebody like, actually, I wouldn't mind TJ Warren on this team. But I think we already have enough wings. So we are going to go ahead. We're going to call up, I believe it was going to be Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's gonna be Detroit. So we're gonna see if we can try to get Monte Morris on this team I feel like he's a pretty good point guard really underrated if you ask me And we're gonna go to we're gonna give him TJ Warren and we'll also go ahead and give you guys Peyton Pritchard So TJ Warren and Peyton Pritchard for Monte Morris I just went ahead like I said sign TJ Warren just so I could go ahead and make the money work Do they accept this trade and yes, they do so welcome to the team Monte Morris All right, and I think this is gonna be the final trade of the season I wanted a better backup center somebody who's gonna protect the paint and rebound for us so we're going to be trading Banton for Nerlens Noel. Do they accept this trade? Yes, they do. So welcome to the team, Nerlens Noel. All right, so for the start of season number ones, after all the trades we did make before the first game of the season, this is what the rotation is going to be looking like. We got Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Chris House Porzingis, and Robert Williams. Off the bench, we got Malcolm Brogdon, Al Horford, Monte Morris, Nerlens Noel, and we are going to give the rookie Jordan Walsh some minutes. So we are going to be running a 10-man rotation and then taking a look at sets of proficiency. They do not show any love to Joe Mazzula. I think last year in 2K23, he also had really bad ratings. He has a D plus and a D plus for somebody that made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's kind of crazy. They do not show no love to Joe Mazzula. So I'm actually wondering if that's going to affect us pretty bad. But taking a look, we are four star balance is probably the best thing. I mean, there's other things that are four stars, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at balance. And yeah, for this team in real life, I'm going to just go ahead and say I'm expecting this team to win about 
I want to say like 55 to 60 games. It all depends on how Chris Stapps fits in, how quickly he fits into this team. If he could fit in pretty quick, because he's pretty much going to be the third scoring option, somebody that's going to be a stretch four, somebody that's going to try to protect the paint, try to get you rebounds. He is a really good shot blocker, and he is a really good post player. So I do like that about Chris House Porzingis. But man, like I said, I definitely got hurt so bad when Marcus Smart did get traded. And like I said, also not bringing back Blake Griffin. And then we also did trade away Grant Williams. Definitely a crazy, crazy offseason for us Celtics fans. But right now in 2K, I'm expecting, because uh, the 2K usually loves the Celtics. So I'm expecting us to win like maybe like 60 games with this team. Because I think we have a pretty good, well-balanced team. So we're going to go and assimilate the first three games of the season right here as we do lose actually we do start off the year 0 and 2 come on 0 and 3 okay no we do end up winning the third game so we did lose by six to the knicks the first game jason tatum with 30 malcolm brogdon off the bench with 25 and then jalen brown with 19. second game we ended up losing to the miami heat malcolm brogdon with 19 jalen brown with 18 and then jason tatum only has 16 points 5 of 15 not looking too good but we did end up winning against the washington wizards didn't we who do we trade them we traded oh no wait monte morris wasn't on the wizards he was on the pistons but we did end up winning by 12 points chris Stapps with 32 points 13 of 19 6 of 8 from downtown with a block and six rebounds jason tatum with 27 8 5 and 3 and then malcolm brogdon off the bench 20 points four rebounds and three assists so not looking too bad so we are gonna go and assimilate and i'm gonna simulate to like the trade deadline just to see if everything is going out uh everything is turning out good because we did start off the year one and two and i was looking not expecting that from the team but hopefully we could go ahead and bounce back and there's nothing to worry about but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna catch you guys at the trade deadline if i see that we're not really doing too good but if we are i will go ahead and catch you guys at the end of season number one all right, so at the end of season number one, John ja Morant winning MVP, averaging 34.6 rebounds and nine assists. That is crazy numbers. Uh, rookie of the year is going to be Victor Wembanyama. Chris Paul winning six man. Giannis winning Defensive Player of the Year. Paul Reed winning Most Improved. Devin Booker winning Clutch Player of the Year. I think that's a new award. Nick Nurse winning uh, Coach of the Year, and then Tyler Jamison winning Executive of the Year. I'm not gonna lie, this is low-key pretty cool. The new animations they put, you see the little like Memphis flag in the background and it's like that for every team. This is actually a pretty cool addition. It's small stuff like this that honestly really does make me appreciate like the little effort that they do in 2K every year. So it's just not like the same exact generic um, background. So this is a pretty cool addition. But taking a look at the all NBA teams, do we get Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum on one? We do end up getting Jason Tatum on an all NBA third team, all defense offensive team do we get anybody we do not okay taking a look at where we ended up we ended up going okay 54 and 28 i believe i said we were gonna win like 55 to 60 games so not too bad it was only off by one game but philly man they are looking tough 63 and 19 for the first seed and then miami finished 51 and 31 same thing with the chicago bulls so taking a look at the player stats for this season i'm pretty sure jason tatum led the way with only 24 and a half points mm, low-key kind of expecting more after coming off a 30 point game uh 30 point per game season eight rebounds to go along jalen brown 20 and a half points was expecting more Chris House with about 17 and a half. Was he efficient shooting the ball? He was very efficient. 48% from the field and then 41% from the three. Taking a look at Malcolm Brogdon with about 17 points, almost 17 points off the bench. And he was really efficient. Almost had a 50, 40, 90 season again. Robert Williams with about nine and eight and a half. Only 1.4 blocks. Loki expecting a little bit more from him. Derek White with about eight and a half. Was he efficient? Ooh, he was not efficient. Okay, he was not really efficient. Monte Morris with about eight points and three assists. He, well, not too bad, 46 and then 31. Al Horford with about seven and a half points. Nerlens Noel with about four and a half and almost four rebounds. And then Jordan Walsh, the rookie, with about three points. Was he efficient? Oh, he was not efficient at all. Maybe I shouldn't have played him. Maybe I should have played somebody else and then just put him in the G League for the year. And then, yeah, that is gonna be the stats for everybody. So taking a look, at who we are facing in round number one we are facing the new york knicks and taking a look at the roster that they have did they add anybody they they added dorian finney smith okay so they traded somebody to brooklyn uh and it looks like that's pretty much it and we are actually going to go ahead and i want to adjust the rotation real quick so i don't think jordan walsh is going to be playing 
Nerlens Noel, he could go ahead and drop down to like 10. Monte Morris could go up to like 20. Ah, uh, you know, he could actually stay like at 18. Malcolm Brogdon could go ahead and go up. We're going to go give him some more minutes. Uh, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum can go up. And then Derek, uh, Derek White could stay. Uh, yeah, he could stay like right there. We'll give one more minute to Jason Tatum. So we are going to be running a nine-man rotation for the playoffs. Now, not really too scared about the New York Knicks. Now, the one thing I do wonder about this new 2K is do the lower seeds upset you like they did last year? Because I felt like last year it happened way too frequently. For some stuff like that to always be happening so we are gonna go ahead and simulate the first round oh my god we almost got eliminated in the first round we were down three games to one game number one we ended up losing by seven points jalen brown and jason tatum both dropping 30 plus game number two we ended up losing jalen brown with 29 jason tatum with 28 chris has with 27 Game number three, we ended up winning Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, 30 and 24. Game number four, we ended up losing by four. Jalen uh, Brown dropping 28, Jason Tatum with 35. Game number five, we ended up winning as Jason Tatum dropped 31. Game number six, we barely won by two, 23 and 22 for the two stars. And then game number seven, we ended up winning as we did blow them out by 21 points. Jalen Brown with 29 and then Jason Tatum with 26 with Chris Ups with 20 and six against his former team. Taking on the Miami Heat, the team that eliminated us last year, did they add anybody? They still have Kevin Love. I wonder if he's still pretty, oh, he is so inefficient. Inefficient? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the word. Inefficient. He is so... That is disgusting. 35, 32, 31, 25. Yeah, that's so bad. We better not lose to this team. Caleb, the fucking sharpshooter Martin. 45%, 40 from deep. He was hitting every single shot against us. I hate this, man. He was so good against us in that playoff series. They did add Thomas Bryant, but I think he was an actual offseason addition. Josh Richardson is back in Miami. Okay. So not really too worried about this team. So we are going to go ahead and simulate the round as we do end up winning in six. Let's go. I think we did lose the first two games, right? We did end up losing number one, Jason Tatum dropping 37. Game number two, Jalen Brown dropping 46 points, but we did end up losing in overtime. Game number three, we ended up winning as Jason Tatum dropped 39, Jalen Brown with 31. Game number four, we ended up winning Brown with 26, Porzingis with 20. Game number five, we ended up winning Jason Tatum with 25, Chris House with 20. And then game number six, we did end up winning by three points, Jalen Brown with 33 and Jason Tatum with 22. Facing the one-seeded Philadelphia 76ers, did they add anybody else? They did not, I believe. I believe they have the exact same team. So we're going to go and assimilate game by game as we do win game number one by one point. Jason Tatum with 34, Chris House with 22. Game number two, they end up winning by one point. So we won by one point and we lost by one point. Jalen Brown with 39, Malcolm Brogdon with 20. Game number three, ah, we end up losing. We end up getting blown out. Okay, maybe I should change some of these rotations just a little bit. Nerlens Noel isn't really doing that good. So we are going to go and lower him down to like eight minutes. Uh, we could go and get more minutes to Robert Williams. See if we could try to guard Joel Embiid. Game number four, we cannot go down three games to one. Not again. Can't afford to do that. And we are looking pretty good as we do start off the first quarter winning by 10. And we are looking pretty comfortable right now. And it is looking like we're going to go ahead and tie up the series as we did go ahead and win by 20 points. Jason Tatum with 38 points. Game number five, we're going to go ahead and do this one with Simcast as well because I feel like it's kind of good luck. So we do start off the first quarter pretty good, almost neck and neck. Game of uh, the second quarter. Quarter, we did end up getting the lead and it's looking like we are going to go ahead and close it out and we are heading back to boston with a three to two game lead we had jalen brown with 26 and jason tatum with 22 game number six on our home court come on please end up win i mean please end up win please end up winning this game so we could go ahead and advance to the finals and it's looking okay it's only a two point game we are coming back in the third quarter come on don't lose this game we are down by six we are down by 10. Oh, it's not looking good. We are down by 8. No, we are going to end up losing. So we're going back to Philly for a game number 7. Don't lose this. I want to win the championship in the first season. Why not? So we do start off the first quarter winning by 5 points. But now we are down in the second quarter. Come on. Don't do this to me. They're starting to break away just a little bit. Okay, we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to catch up. No, it's not looking good. Why? Come on. They scored 45 points in the third quarter. Come on, man. 
All right, so we end up losing. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Steph Curry is your Western Conference Finals MVP. Joel Embiid is your Eastern Conference. They're finally in the finals, and who is going to win between both of these? These 76ers end up winning. <sighs> Maybe I should have hopped in in game six when we were up three games to two. Okay, so the one good thing... Wait, does anybody retire? Al Horford retires. Okay, so Horford retires. Does anybody else retire? I don't think so. Blake Griffin ends up retiring. Okay. So we do have Al Horford retiring and he, I didn't even know if he made the Hall of Fame. No, he did not make the Hall of Fame. Okay. So taking a look at the draft lottery, we are going to go ahead and we are going to have um, generated players because I don't think anybody's made draft classes yet for the 2024 draft class. So taking a look at this roster, I mean, we were one game away from going back to the NBA finals. So maybe I would like to try to get maybe like a sharpshooter, maybe try to just let um walsh develop so we're gonna see what we're gonna do if i make any moves i'll go ahead and i'll show you guys but if not i'll just go ahead and catch you guys at the start of season number two with the same rotation all right so real quick i'm gonna see if the charlotte hornets will accept this trade i'm sending them a lot of the rookies that we drafted and sam hauser for nick richard since we did go ahead and lose nerlens noel in free agency do they accept this trade and yes they do so welcome to the team nick richards all right, so for the start of season number two, we got Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Chris Stapps, and Robert Williams. Off the bench, we got Malcolm Brogdon, Monte Morris, Nick Richard, and Jordan Walsh. Taking a look at system proficiency for this team, is anything better than four and a half stars? No, it is not. And that's crazy. They still didn't even upgrade Joe Mazzulla. He still has a D-plus offense and defense. He does have a C-minus potential, so that's probably why. So for this season, I'm hoping that we could go ahead and have a better season than last season. So we are going to go ahead and simulate the first three games of the season as we do end up winning the first, we lose the second, and we do end up winning the third. So we did blow out the Pacers by 20 points, Tatum with 41 points. We did end up losing the second game to the New Orleans Pelicans by 18 points, Jason Tatum with 33. And then the third game of the season, we did win by 10 against the Miami Heat as Jimmy Butler only has 17, but Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum both had 27 plus. So I'm hoping we could try to be around maybe like a 55 to 60 win team this year. I think it's doable. So we are going to go ahead and simulate. And then again, if I do have any problems or I do want to go ahead and make some trades, I'll go ahead and I'll stop at the trade deadline. But if not, and we're having a good season, I'll just go ahead and see you guys at the end of season number two. All right, so at the end of season number two, Nikola Jokic winning MVP, Garner winning Rookie of the Year, Miles Bridges in Golden State winning six man, Evan Mobley winning Defensive Player of the Year, Most Approved Amen Thompson, Clutch Player of the Year is Luca, and then JB Bickerstaff winning Coach of the Year going 62 and 20. Taking a look at the All NBA teams, do we get somebody on here? We do get Jason Tatum once again on an All NBA third team. I already know they're not about to let this man get on an All NBA first or second team. Taking a look at the all defensive team, do we get somebody on here? We do not, so they're not gonna let Rob Williams get on there either. So taking a look at where we finished, we ended up going 56 and 26. So I believe that was better than what we did last year. I think last year we won 54 games, if I'm not mistaken. But Cleveland did get 62 wins. They did go 62 and 20. Taking a look at the player stats for the season, we did have Jason Tatum lean the way with 28 points. Jalen Brown with about 22. Chris Sass with about 19. Malcolm Brogdon, once again, off the bench with about 15 and a half. Rob Williams with about 10 and a half and 10 rebounds with almost two blocks a night. Derek White with about nine. Was he efficient? Yo, they show no type of love to Derek White in this game. He is awful shooting the ball taking a look at monte morris with about eight and a half points nick richards with about five points and about six rebounds and then jordan walsh with about four points oh once again he wasn't really that good but he is a 76 overall what's his perimeter defense he does have an a okay so taking a look at who we are facing in the first round we are going up against the charlotte hornets did they add anybody else they did add kavon looney they did add who else did they add Nick Smith, uh, I believe they did actually draft him. Didn't we trade somebody here? Yeah, we traded for Nick Richards. I forgot who we traded. Oh, I think we traded a lot of the rookies. But yeah, not really too worried. So we are going to go ahead and, and adjust the rotations real quick. Uh, we could go ahead and give like 10 minutes. Uh, we could go ahead and drop him down to like 16. Rob Williams could get like 32. And then Chris Huff could get like 34. 
uh, we could actually drop him down, move him up, so we could get 36 and 36, and actually we could go to drop down Monte Morris, and then Jason Tatum could get about 38 minutes. So we're gonna go and simulate the first round 2K. I hope 2K fixes where lower seeds don't upset you as often. So we are gonna go and simulate the round as. Once again, we almost get eliminated in the first round against the Charlotte Hornets. Game number one, we did end up winning. Game number two, we won. Game number three, they did. Game number four, they blew us out by almost 60 points, by 57. Game number five, they ended up winning. Game number six, we ended up winning. And then game number seven, we did end up winning Brown with 40 points to close out the first round. Taking on the Atlanta Hawks, 2K loves this team. They added Jared Vanderbilt. Um, did they add anybody else? Zach Collins as well. And I believe that is going to be it. So we are going to go and simulate the round as we do go ahead and sweep them. That's what I like to see. Taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers, the one seed. They added Max Struess. Actually, no, they already had Max Struess. Did they add anybody? They added Mason Plumlee, Ty Jerome, Marcus Cooper. And I believe that is going to be it. So we are going to go and simulate the round, please. I actually want to win. I think it's like 3 in the morning and I'm trying to go to sleep. But we are going to go and simulate the round oh we almost ended up losing sga is your western conference finals mvp and then we do have jason tatum being your eastern conference finals mvp averaging about 30 points so we are now taking on the houston rockets wait wait how did sga win it so you could get it even if you're on a losing team oh that is crazy i actually didn't know that Okay, that's pretty crazy. So we are taking on the Houston Rockets. They added Buddy Hill. That's actually a pretty good pickup for them. Uh, did they add anybody else? Dylan Brooks, they added in the offseason. Ben Simmons is on this team. No way. Okay, so they made a trade with Brooklyn to send them, uh, send him there. So we are going to go and simulate the first game as we do end up losing by six points. Jason Tatum with 30, Jalen Brown with 27. Game number two, come on, don't lose. We are facing the Houston Rockets. This should be an easy matchup. They don't really have that good of a team, but it is looking like we are on the verge of going down two games to zero. And yeah, we end up losing by eight points. So now we gotta go ahead back to the drawing board. Take a look and see. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna go ahead. We're actually not gonna play Jordan Walsh in this. Who should we play? We could probably play... I don't know, maybe Marcus Morris, he is a shooter, so we could go ahead and maybe give him some minutes. We'll go ahead and give him like eight minutes a night, why not? And then we'll go ahead and we will give, uh, we could give Chris Asperzingas another two minutes. The third game of the finals, we cannot go down three games to zero, we just cannot. So it's looking like they didn't even want me to give uh, minutes to Marcus Morris, but it is looking like a good idea because we just dropped 46 points in the third quarter and we ended up winning by 43 points. Taking a look at the boss score real quick, Chris has with 31 and Malcolm Brogdon with 28. Game number, what is this, game number four? We are in Houston, so we're hoping to go back to Boston with the series tied up two games to two. And this could be our first championship in a while, but it's not looking like we're gonna go ahead and win. We're looking like we're gonna go down. As we do end up losing, okay. I don't know how we are down to this team. It's not even a good team. Who's playing bad? I mean, Derek White definitely stepping it up. Uh, I guess we don't really have to play Marcus Morris. So should we just run uh, run an eight man rotation? Uh, I mean, we could. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and run an eight man rotation. So we go going to give Jason Tatum 40, Jalen Brown could get 40, Derek White can get 30. Pretty much do or die we have to go ahead and we have to win this game we are in boston so hopefully we don't lose we could put up a good fight we only won one game so far which is pretty crazy because i did think this team was better so we did go ahead and blow well we didn't even blow them out it was a close game we ended up winning by four as jason tatum dropped 25 malcolm brown with 25 and jalen brown with 21 taking on i mean not taking on going to game number six we are in houston if we could just try to win one more game and get back to boston i think we'll be all right and it is neck and neck so far we are down by 12 with seven minutes and it's not looking too good we are down by seven down by seven uh down by six you know what i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna hop into this game yeah i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna hop into this game why not all right, so the first one was up and in. The second one is gonna go ahead and we are gonna go two for two. Now we are down by eight. All right, come on, good defense, let's go. Okay, so we are down by eight now with a minute 45 to go. Ah, oh, come on, somebody get open. Jalen Brown, oh, Derek White open. No, gonna kick it out. 
let me get a screen let me get a screen i need to go quick i'm taking too much time right now jalen brown gonna go ahead and go to the rack i blew the layup no oh thank god here we go don't blow this one we blew two layups no all right well i pretty much just choked this game away we just blew two layups with jalen brown Oh, no. Come on. That's what happens when I, I should have practiced first. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go up. He is going to miss, but we do have a minute to go. Chris Epps, why not? Oh, that's actually a good release. Let's go. And we do hit it. We are now down by five. Full court trap right here. So we are going to go ahead and try to steal the ball away. Actually, too many people came over here to help out. Down by five. We need one stop right here. We got 55 seconds to go. Come on. Don't give any wide open shots to Men Thompson. That's good defense. No, oh, that was horrible defense, but he somehow missed. Let's go. I don't know how he missed that. I don't really want to take a shot with Jalen Brown. Oh, but I think I'm going to have to. Come on, kick it inside. Chris Stapps, no. Okay, I got I got 36 seconds. Let's take my time. Chris Stapps, no. Come on. All right, somebody's going to have to give me a screen. Give me a screen. Jason Tatum, go all the way. Oh, Jason Tatum throwing it down. We do have 27 seconds left. We don't necessarily have to foul, but I think the foul, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and foul because they do have the option on right now. So, Amen Thompson is going to go ahead and miss the first one. Let's go. You'd love to see it. The second free throw is going to go ahead and go up, and he is going to miss both free throws. That is so rare. Derek White, wide open in the corner. Please make that. Let's go. We end up tying up the game with 20.4 seconds left. All right, we got to play defense right here. 17 seconds left. Hopefully, they could go ahead and shoot an early shot so I could actually try to win it at the buzzer. But it is looking like they're just going to hold on to it. Nine seconds, eight seconds. All right, so it's looking like we are probably going to go to overtime unless he hits that shot. Oh, thank God. Call the timeout. Okay. We do have 2.6 seconds left. Hopefully, I could try to get something up and we could actually win it so we could force a game seven. All right, 2.6 seconds left. I feel like we have enough time. I just don't know who I want to give the ball to. I think we'll go ahead and we could give it to Jason Tatum. So we are going to go ahead and give it into him. Jason Tatum for the win. Oh, let's go. And we are going to force a game seven. Jason Tatum with the clutch shot. And we are going back to Boston for a game number seven. You see right here, he is going to go ahead and get it off. And he is going to knock it down. All right, so game number seven after Jason Tatum hit that shot. Jason Tatum finished the game with 26, 6, and 6. 21 for Brogdon. So it all comes down to game number seven in Boston. Please let me win. It is already like 2.40, 2.50 in the morning. I'm trying to get some sleeps because I got to go ahead and I also got to edit this video. So we're going to go ahead and we start off the first quarter pretty strong. We do end up going up by four, but we are now down. Come on. Please, we need to get a win. We did not just hit that buzzer beater for no reason. Come on. It's pretty much neck and neck here. They are breaking away a little bit. Oh, no. They are up by 11. Up by 6. Come on. I don't want to have to jump in again either. Come on. We are up. Okay, we're up. Tie game. Four minutes. We are up. Tie game. Come on. 255. We are up. Come on. Okay, we go up. We go up. We're up by four points. Up by four points. Up by six points. Let's go. Up by four. Up by six. And yes, we are going to end up winning by six points. And the Boston Celtics are your new NBA champions. Jason Tatum winning finals MVP. 26 and a half points. Seven and a half rebounds. Almost six assists. 1.6 steals and 1.6 blocks. Really efficient shooting. 50, 40, 90. Let's go. I'm actually so happy that we ended up winning because I don't think the Rockets should have had us in a three to one series lead as taking a look at the team that we did have Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Chris Asperzingas, Malcolm Brogdon, Derek White, Rob Williams. Monte Morris was honestly a really good addition to this team. Wasn't really somebody that was going to stand out and like shoot like a crazy amount and average like a crazy amount of points, but he did get the job done pretty efficient. Uh, eh, not too efficient the first season from three, but the second season he definitely stepped it up. Nick Richards was also another good addition with Al Horford retiring, so we did go ahead and bring in another shot blocker. And then Jordan Walsh didn't really do too good. I'm just gonna assume he maybe needs like another season to develop it. You know what? It is what it is because we did end up winning, and then we did bring back some Celtic alumni. We did have Marcus Morris, and then we did have Kemba Walker on here as well. But yeah, that's going to go and that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we are going to go ahead and be uploading so much content in the next couple days. 
But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch y'all next time. Stay safe. Peace.